Hey, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. My how things change in 15 minutes. We've gone from mostly quiet to uh-ohville in the hail department. We've got a severe storm in Fannin County, southeastern Dallas County, and eastern Tarrant County. We're going to take a look at all these real quick. Severe storm number one, northeast of Leonard, approaching Highway 78 in Bailey. This storm could have... At least quarter size hail. Some folks there on Highway 69 northeast of Trend did report. Technically, it's 121 northeast of Trend reported quarter size hail with that. That storm's moving southeast a little more quickly than the other storms earlier, about 20 miles an hour. So that's going to be crossing Highway 34 near or a bit south of Wolf City by 7:45 p.m. If it continues, it could be near Nalandville in Commerce there on Highway 24 by 8.15 p.m. Again, large hail, locally damaging winds possible. Nasty-looking supercell right now over the east sides of Wilmer, moving south-southeast at about 10 miles an hour. This storm could have golf ball size hail. It's going to stay mostly east of Interstate 45, but barely, so it may still throw some hail out in the interstate. Would not be advisable to be on I-45 right now, south of Hutchins, all the way down to Ferris, until this storm either weakens or makes it a little further east of the interstate. Two severe storms, one over the south sides of DFW Airport that is likely producing hail right now on International Parkway near 183 and just north. Uh, if you have your car, car parked in the long-term lots there at DFW, my apologies to you. That storm's moving northeast at about 15 miles an hour towards the George Bush and Highway 114 intersections north sides of Irving, Farmers Branch, Carrollton. This storm over North Arlington, um, here on 360 is going to be moving more southeast. We have splitting supercells ongoing here. So this one over Grand Prairie, west sides of Grand Prairie, is going to be moving more to the southeast. We'll see if it survives, but if it does, it could bring hail into Grand Prairie in northeast Arlington over the next several minutes. Oh, and if that wasn't enough, we have a new storm developing over University Park. Highland Park, just northeast of Love Field, up towards south sides of Richardson, North Dallas. That storm probably be drifting southeast as well. And just for fun, we have a storm near Reno, north of Azel. That one's not doing too much right now, but we'll keep an eye on it. So again, keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and we'll bring updates as needed. Oh, and by the way, there's a new storm here over the north sides of Lake Texoma. That's moving southeast. That could be an issue for Denison by 8.15 p.m. Okay, seriously, we're done with this for now. We'll talk to you again shortly if needed. Bye-bye.